Hi everyone, Professor Monty here today, and let's solve logarithmic equations with addition. So if I have a logarithmic equation and we're adding two logs together, how do I solve this? Well, remember the key to solving log equations is changing them to exponential equations. Typically, that's what you're gonna do almost every time, unless it's set up in a very special way. But I'm thinking right away, oh, I need to write this as an exponential. So I need to get it as a single log. So the first thing I do is I use my log property that says if I'm adding two logs at the same base, I can write it as a single log with that same base by multiplying the arguments together. So I'm going to get log base 2 of x plus 2 times x minus 2 equals 5. Now I've got it as a single log. Now I can change the exponential. So I take the base 2. That becomes the base of the exponent. 2 to the fifth power. So I get 2 to the fifth power equals, I can FOIL this out, x squared. Notice I'm going to get a minus 2 and a plus 2. Those are going to cancel out, minus 4. There's my equation. Now it's not a log equation anymore. It's just a regular equation. I can solve it like I would always do. So 2 to the fifth, 32, equals x squared minus 4. I add 4 to both sides. 36 equals x squared. And then I take the square root of both sides. Remember, I typically say plus or minus whenever I take the square root of both sides. So this side's just x, and this is plus or minus 6. So I get either x equals negative 6 or x equals positive 6. But I always have to check to make sure neither of those answers is extraneous. If I take the negative 6 and I plug it in here, I've got log base 2 of negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Remember the domain of the log function. I can't take the log of negative numbers. So the argument can never be negative. So if I plug negative 6 in here, it makes me take the log of a negative number. 2 to any power is never going to equal negative 4. That's impossible. It's going to happen. I throw that as an, as an extraneous solution. I don't even have to check it in here, which is going to be negative also. But since it didn't work here, I just throw it away. 6 is OK, because if I plug it in here, I get log base 2 of 8. I can take the log of 8, that's fine. And I get log base 2 of 4 when I plug in 6 minus 2. Well, 4 is positive also. I can take that log as well. So 6 does work for me. I didn't verify it was the right answer. I just verified that it wasn't extraneous. So it doesn't cause something illegal to happen. But that's my answer. So remember the key change from two separate logarithms with addition to a single logarithm with multiplication. We need to change it to a single logarithm because now I can change from log form to exponential form and then solve my problem. All right, so if you like this video, if you haven't already, click like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll get some more videos coming out to you. All right, best of luck to you.